welcome to this week's edition of Wildcat Action News. I'm Omar. And I'm Shagir. Let's head over to Nolan for, with our top story. Recently, before break, the Cinders have been working on gingerbread houses. Now let's get some thoughts about these gingerbread houses. Why do you, what do you like about this project? Because it's like fun and you can like use your imagination. What's your favorite candy part to use on your gingerbread house? I'd say Red Hots. Mm, that's really cool. Do you like the frosting as the snow or the cotton candy for snow or not? I like cotton candy more. Mm. What is your favorite thing about making these gingerbread houses? I'm decorating them. With what? With what type of thing? Candy, gumdrops, or candy canes? My favorite thing to decorate with them is candy canes. That's really cool. It was great interviewing the sun graders. Now let's head it back up to the newsroom. Action. That was a great story. Yeah. Let's send it over to Cooper and Carter with this week's weather. <laughs> Welcome to this week's version of Weekly Weather. Let's send it over to Carter with this week's weather. Thanks, Cooper. It looks like it'll be a pretty cold week this week. Uh, today, you can expect a high of 31 and a low of 25. On Tuesday, temperatures can get as low as 26 and as high as 34. On Wednesday, expect a high of 34 and a low of 23. On Thursday, temperatures can reach as high as 32 and as low as 27. And to wrap up the week, you can expect a high of 40 and a low of 28. Let's send it back to the newsroom. Thanks for tuning in for this week's version of Weekly Weather. Ooh, it's going to be like a chilly week. Now let's get down to this week's quick quiz. Who was the first principal at Wilder Way? Walter Mulvaney, or Mr. Mulvaney, was the first principal at Wilder Way. Let's get to the Sass Spotlight. Let's head down with Pierce, Muhammad, and Mr. Carter. Hi, I'm Pierce. I'm Muhammad, and we are here with Mr. Carter, the PE teacher. What is your most favorite part about teaching? I really enjoy working with my students. They help, I think it helps keep me young, and, but I enjoy teaching all the sports, something I had a passion for when I was growing up. How long have you been teaching? Well, I've been teaching for 21 years now. Um, the first four years I taught, I was at Spring Bay Riverview, which was a K through eight building. And then since then, I've been here at Wilder Wait for my 16th year, I believe. So it's been a really fun time, but I actually student taught here at Wilder Wait when, before I even started teaching. Mr. Carter, what are your hobbies? Probably my favorite thing to do is to go golfing. A lot of times I go out with Mr. Corey and Mr. Conley. Um, but it's probably my favorite thing to do, especially during the summertime when we have three months off. What is your favorite food? Well, I really enjoy either seafood or a steak. Um, probably my favorite would be lobster. Uh, but also a good steak is also very enjoyable. Where do you like to go for vacation, Mr. Carter? Really, I like to go anywhere tropical. I like being warm, maybe escaping the Illinois winters. So uh, in the past, we've gone to Jamaica. I've been to Mexico. Uh, during summertime, sometimes we go to Hilton Head. So pretty much anywhere warm, and there's a beach. Mr. Carter, what is your favorite book? My favorite book would probably be Lord of the Rings, the trilogy by Tolkien. Um, just really enjoyed it. Kind of puts you in a different world. So I really enjoyed a lot of the fantasy books. What is your most favorite sport to play? I really enjoy golf. Like I said earlier, it's one of my hobbies. But when I'm actually coaching, my favorite uh, sport to coach would be track and cross country. Well, now let's send this back to the newsroom. Wow, it's great to know something new about Mr. Carter. 
Now it's time for Mrs. Berg to tell us a special report. On Tuesday, January 21st, the principals from the other district elementary schools visited Wilder Way to learn more about our school. The event is affectionately called Principals on Parade and consists of principals visiting classrooms, reading a book, and then meeting together to hear about the culture and characteristics of each school. While in the classrooms this week, each principal shared the book One by Katherine Atoshi, a story about strategies to stand up to bullies and support friends. Students were then offered an opportunity to be the one to stand up against unkindness. After the visit, the principals shared their impressions about their visit. Good morning. What is the purpose of Principals on Parade? Purpose of Principals on Parade? Well, I tell you what. It gives us a chance as principals to see what is going on at other buildings. And there are a lot of cool things going on at every building, especially here at Wilder Waite. I love to see all the things going on here. And we also get to read to all the students. And you know, principals, we like to read as, if you read our shirts, it says leading is reading. So that's kind of our theme this year. So that is the pr purpose for Principals on Parade. What did you most enjoy about your visit to Wilder Waite? First of all, thank you so much for letting us come to your wonderful school. My favorite thing today was getting to read to all the boys and girls. Every classroom I went into was just so welcoming. Um, thanks again for letting us come. Mr. Etnair, what is one thing that impressed you about our wait today? I was really impressed by how nice and kind all of the students and teachers were um, when we went around to read to the classrooms. What did you enjoy most about your visit to Wilder Way? Well, I enjoyed everything about my visit, but most of all, I loved hearing about what their favorite things were here. And a lot of them said art, and a couple of students even said math, which I thought was very impressive. Miss, you were the principal at Wilder Waite before Mrs. Berg? I was. What seems the same at Wilder Waite, and what is different? Well, I would have to say the things that seem the same, number one, is you. You and I go way back, don't we, Pierce? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I remember you. And then some of the other things that seem the same are just the general feel of the, the school and the building and some of the teachers that are still here. So that's one thing um, that seems the same. And then mm -hmm. something that seems different is um, just the changes that have been made to the school, like adding classrooms in the back of the school and then demolishing the outside building that used to be back on that end of the building. So those things seem different. Thank you very much to all the principals who made time in their busy day to come visit us at Wilder Waite. We are grateful that our event was a huge success. See you next time on Wildcat Action News.